Hello, join me as I'm getting ready for a Kermit adventure. Um, that noise you can hear in the background is the tire inflator doing its thing. So this is going to be the first time I've taken out the big trailer here in years, years and years. Because it got to the point where the old Land Rover just couldn't cope with pulling it at all. <laughs> so I dragged this out, I've given it a brush down, I've put some, put my posh lights on it. These are a nice set of LED lights that I've got. I just use the same lights for all the trailers now. They're on um, magnets. So this wheel here closest to us was at about 20 psi. The one that's currently being pumped up was down to six. This poor little inflate is not really the tool for the job, but we're getting there. That's at 30, which is going to do us, but that's hot to the touch now. <laughs> I'll leave, leave that well before I try on the other side. I'm going to need a lot of kit for this, <laughs> for this collection. Um, I'm off to get a um, four post, a four post lift or four post ramp, a car, car lift, um, which is partially in bits, but may still need some dismantling. It's another of those things that I've been wanting to get hold of for years and years. And until now, until I've had Kermit on the road, um, if a bargain's popped up, because these, these ramps, well, I paid a hundred quid for this one. Well, I'm about to pay a hundred quid for this one. They're not expensive um, because <laughs> not, there's not that much demand for them. And as I'm about to find out, they're an absolute pain in the ass to move. But until I had Kermit on the road, I had no way of moving it. So all those bargains that I saw on eBay, I just had to let them go. These things, this little trolley, is, these are known as piano wheels. As uh, used for moving pianos, but also loads of other stuff, and they're amazingly hardcore. You get an awful lot of weight on those. Similarly, this sack truck is pretty hardcore. I uh, uprated the wheels years ago. These are um, solid puncture-proof jobbies. Pumping up the last tyre, and we'll be off. I think I've got, <laughs> I think I've got tools for every eventuality. Pretty sure. It's quite a long drive. Oh, there we go. It's quite a long drive. It's going to take me two or three hours to get there. Um, I've got to go down, it's near Weymouth, where I'm heading down on the south coast.
boxed in by all these fancy cars. This is where we are so far. So these are loose, pins about to come out. So that's now, that's now fairly free. Poking in the gubbins there, yeah. came out there. So I'm wondering if there's enough slack in the system now to keep the ropes on there and just fold it up a bit. So I'm going to try and ratchet strap all three together and drag them on in one unit. Uh, this is what's in the way. Well it takes some faff but <laughs> we're in. This is doable now. Tile down now, I'm going my way. I'm ready to roll. Get to out without any grief. And we're off. Tiptoe, tiptoe, let it out. Some lunch, it's about five o'clock. <laughs> Leaving it.
Let's plod home. It will be a plod as well. Plodding this time. I'm quite happy to plod. safe and sound. Oh. Ten past eight. It's been a long day. Because now I've got to put all this somewhere. I don't have an imminent plan to install this lift. I'll show you where it's going to go though. This is where I'm thinking of putting it, in Kermit's house. And well now I've actually got the, the actual thing, I can measure it up and see if that's actually going to work. Um, I think it will though, because of the roof structure that I made, this um, gambrel roof, I can actually take out some of the cross beams and there will be plenty of height. My plan has always been to scrape out this stone, um, excavate 6 inches or so and concrete inside here and of course that would be essential if I'm going to put the lift in. I think the posts of the lift are about similar to the where the um, posts are that hold up the building. Well, I'll find out. Right, that's me and Kermit done for the day. Uh, I think Kermit's earned a rest. I've earned a beer, I reckon. Or at least some dinner. <laughs> I'll see you later. Cheers.